Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you how to assign permissions in a unique way to an individual list or library in a SharePoint site. So whenever you are working with permissions in SharePoint, you want to default at whenever humanly possible to having generic across the board permissions for every facet of your site so that the same people who can get access to your document library over here on the left hand side can also access your employee list for example. But there are certain instances where a section of your SharePoint site should have different permissions from the rest of your SharePoint site. So let's say for example here we have a document library and this library called documents this is one where everybody's going to be contributing every day. But in this same site, you do want to have sort of an archive of past forms and things like that that people cannot make changes to because uh, possibly that would be, um, you know, if they can make changes to those documents, it would hurt the integrity of your archive. So let's first make an archive library in the SharePoint site. Uh, we can do that by going to the gear in the top right hand corner and choosing add an app here. And within add an app, let's go ahead and choose a document library that I will call archive. And then click create. Now, once I create this archive library, it's going to be important that people who go to the archive can see what's there, but cannot make changes to what's there. So I'll go to my archive library here, open that up. And what I need to do is to modify how this library works. I'm going to go to my gear in the top right hand corner and find my library settings. By going to library settings, I can see a variety of different points about the archive library. But specifically, of course, I am looking for the permissions for this document library. So I go to permissions for the document library. And let's say we'll go very simple here. Anybody who has the add only or the members access to the SharePoint site should not be able to upload, should not be able to edit documents. They should only be able to read those documents. But notice here, these aren't checkboxes over here on the side. I can't make changes to these because of the gold bar that's at the top that says this library inherits the permissions that the site, the human resources site that we're on, has. So I'll go up here to the top left-hand corner and click on Stop Inheriting the Permissions. And uh, that's a daunting situation. You don't want to do this lightly because as soon as you are taking this library away from what the rest of the site does, you're not sure necessarily whether your library has the right permission levels as you're modifying what the site has. So let's be careful about this. But when you click on Stop Inheriting Permissions and then click OK, then this library has its capacity for its own unique permission levels. So I'll click here on the checkbox for add only and click on edit the user permissions. And when I choose edit user permissions, you'll notice that I have the ability to switch away from upload only and over to read access for these people. I'll click OK and then be returned here where I can click the checkbox for the members. Choose to edit the user permissions, change from edit access to read access, and then click OK. And now just like that, anybody who is an owner of the human resources site still has full control over this library. They still have the capacity to add, edit, delete, make changes to the settings of this library, anything they want to do. But anybody who's just a member or an ad only access person or a visitor to the SharePoint site, all they're capable of doing is seeing the documents that exist in there. At any point, if I come in as an owner of this library and say, you know what, everything that I just did was, uh, was a mistake, I can go to delete unique permissions up here in the top left and get rid of all those changes, set it back to the way the SharePoint site has been set up already. 